Sitka has been around for about uh, two and a half years now. It, uh, uh, I think it was in January 2018 that we went public. We've raised about $4 million since then. Yeah, I'm going to be making some forward-looking statements here, so uh, be aware of that. So we're a new, fairly new junior explorer. We've got four um, assets that are drill ready and one of them that we're drilling right now we just started yesterday but basically uh, the Burrow Creek Gold Silver Deposit in Arizona where that's our flagship property the Alpha Gold Project in Nevada and the RC Gold Project in the Yukon are our gold assets and then we have the Copper Mine River Project in none of it. Very experienced management team lots of uh, track record of past discoveries mine production and shareholder success and we're targeting gold silver and copper properties that meet a proven set of criteria <clears throat> that we uh, require. So again, a very good pedigree of uh, directors and management. Uh, all these bios are on the on the website, so uh, have a look if you want. Myself, I'm a professional geologist, a mining engineering technologist, and a gemologist. I've uh, got many years in the business. I put two mines in production, and I've been credited with the discovery of a two million ounce gold deposit. Our share price, well, we were doing pretty good at the beginning of the, the last 12 months, but uh, we had the COVID-19 thing happen. We dropped from 23 cents to five, and we've been generally working our way back up here. We did a financing a couple weeks ago, closed $1.2 million, and I think we closed today at around 17 cents. We've got 48 million shares outstanding, fully diluted would be around 78 million, and uh, management owns about 20% of that. Our flagship property, the Burrow Creek property, this picture was taken in 1988. Um, that's my truck in the center there, that yellow Dodge. Uh, we were going to put this into production, the price of gold tank, and it got shelved. So it's basically looking the same today. A very wide uh, epithermal vein system and uh, a very impressive uh, uh, magnitude. So it's on the highway between Las Vegas and uh, Phoenix, just a kilometer off the interstate highway. So the logistics are very good, stable mining uh, district <clears throat> and road accessible. So as I mentioned, it's a it's epithermal gold silver vein system. There is a 43101 historical resource on it, about 5 million ounces of, uh, oops, let's go back, 5 million ounces of Silver and 120,000 ounces of gold is split between an indicated and inferred category. This is one of the drill holes for the first 43101 that was written in 2008. Uh, this just gives you an idea of the, the width of the, this vein and the fact that it has bonanza grade intercepts that are fairly common as well. Uh, hole, hole 30 here a meter of 31.8 grams per ton gold and 759 grams per ton silver. So pretty impressive that way. This is the old open pit that was designed but never mined, and it's before computers were very uh, useful to the average person, so this is all done by hand. What got us attracted to this property, besides my past experience with it, was the last work done was this mobile metal ion survey. and. Uh, some reason this is bouncing back on me. Um, this survey uh, outlined a, a, a gold and silver anomaly that basically traced where the vein should be if you projected it into the mountain. And um, we believe that this was an extension of the of the of the burrow vein itself. So our first step was to uh, drill a fence of holes for the first 250 meters of that and confirm indeed that it is that vein. And, uh, and it's connecting up to this outcrop to the south about 1.3 kilometers. So we're really excited about that. We finished that first phase in, in April of this year. These are the, the, the drill holes um, right to the edge of our private property. We're in the middle of getting our BLM permit so that we can continue the other one kilometer there. And then uh, after we've done that, we're uh, planning on doing a current 43101 compliant resource. This is just some of the assays that uh, we got back from our drill holes, uh, just basically showing that the mineralization does continue to the south, and we're very confident that it's going to just tie right into the vein um, that outcrops down there that has similar values to it. Our second property is the Alpha Gold property. 
This is the one we just started drilling today. We put an announcement out, and uh, it's in the prolific Carlin district in Nevada. Um, these deposits are lined up along certain trends, and uh, this one particularly along the Battle Mountain Cortez Gold trend, Alpha Gold is located along the projection of this Cortez trend, and uh, these deposits also are found in favorable carbonate rocks that are preserved in zones of folding and deformation. Um, Alpha Gold has these favorable carbonate rocks preserved in a prospective structural setting at the intersection of the Cortez Gold trend and the Pine Valley Garden Valley anticline. So we are drilling the first maiden drill hole to test this conceptual um, interpretation. This shows where the Alpha Gold property is in relation to the Cortez trend. You can see those three little elephants there running down there. That's uh, adding up to 50 million ounces there on that on that one trend. So it's a very exciting uh, perspective play for us, and uh, we can't wait for this first drill hole. Again, this shows the the projection of the Cortez trend with the Garden Valley anticline and 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 our target area. This is a cut through our property as well as the, the area around it. And you can see that the lower plate carbonates are preserved. And our target is uh, what we believe is at a mineable depth. Um, we've got a 12 drill hole program permitted there. And uh, we also have 100 PPP gold soil anomaly that straddles that area. That gives us a bit of encouragement that this could be leakage from the lower plate. Our next project in the Yukon, the RC Gold Project, uh, this is my backyard. Um, very uh, uh, prospective area that uh, straddles um, is centered in between two of the only permanent gold mines in the Yukon. It's just recently newly road accessible, and uh, we're looking at doing some drilling up there this year too. If you look at this map, you'll see Sitka Gold um, originally was a, a fairly small block uh, of about uh, 150 claims. This year we acquired another. Um, 1,450 claims, so 10 times our our land position. Uh, we now have the largest land position between Victoria Gold's uh, Eagle Mine and Golden Predators Bury Creek Mine. Uh, we're pretty excited about the fact that we've got a lot of prospective targets there. The work that we've done on the original RC Gold property showed six targets, intrusion-related gold targets. We intend to test some of those this year. We're still formulating that plan. Um, one of the targets might be two anomalies that actually represent one zonation of mineralization that's two kilometers long and a half a meter or, or 500 meters wide. Our additional property that we acquired, the Matin, had, came with 18,000 soil sample data results, and we're compiling that. There's a, just a ton of valuable information and targets on that property. So we also have the Coppermine River project up in Nunavut in the in Canada's Arctic, uh, about 30 kilometers from tidewater. Uh, it's it's 100% owned by Sitka Gold through its subsidiary Arctic Copper Corporation, and it's a large package there, 50,000 hectares. We've done a bit of work up there, and uh, we're fortunate enough to have discovered a, a sediment hosted. Copper showing. Um, this was just getting spit out right on into the tundra from the frost heaves, and it ran around 13% copper and 65 grams per ton silver. We ran some geophysics and gravity over this and uh, picked up a gravity anomaly right below it that we believe is probably this mineralization in, in place. <clears throat> so we're really excited about that, uh, but it's not on the top of our list for, for doing work at this time. There's also high-grade uh, copper veins there in the in the volcanic rock that uh, run up to 41% copper. It's just amazing. So the company's plans right now, <clears throat> we're drilling the Alpha Gold property in Nevada. Um, we were just about ready to go and do that uh, before COVID hit. And now, now we're there. The drill is actually uh, on site, and we got pictures today of it uh, drilling the first hole. So we're going to carry out that program. We're going to drill some of the newly discovered intrusion related gold deposits targets in the RC Gold property in the Yukon, and we're going to continue drilling at the Burrow Creek property to test the extension of the mineralization beyond the private patent claims. 
and uh, complete a 43101 compliant resource in the fall winter. <clears throat> and that's about it. Thank you.